Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to set up conditional formatting for tablex or tables and matrices in Power BI. So I've got this file and I've already uploaded this file to GitHub. And the name of the file is 2017-1113 conditional formatting for a matrix and table. So you can download this file and play along with it. I will leave a link to this GitHub uh, repository in the video notes. So let's start. I've got data which, uh, let's just open this data. So it's data by year and the sales amount for each of those years. So let's select a table and um, we'll just select year and sales amount. And you can see it becomes visible to us. So year and then the sales amount. Let's go to the conditional format or the format tab and go to conditional formatting. And for the sales amount, because it's a measure um, and it's a summable measure, it gives us only conditional formatting capability for measures at the moment. And I'll just turn the background. Let's just turn the font color on first. And uh, let's add advanced controls. So I'll, I'll select this color by rules. So when I check this, I get this option. So if it is greater than, let's say minus 10 million or minus 1 million and is less than zero, I want it to be red. And then I'll just click on the add button. And if it is greater than zero and it is less than, let's say, I want this to be green or let's say just the normal font black and I can click OK. And you can see that it highlights the colors for me. So sales amount in 2009 was negative and in 2014 was negative. So I'll just turn this off now and we'll go on to background. It is similar for the background as well. We'll just click on advanced controls. Uh, we'll check the color by rules tab and is greater than equal to minus and is less than zero, we make it red. If it is greater than zero, but it is less than, let's say 300,000, we will make it yellow in the background. And we'll just add one more. And if it is greater than 300,000, and is less than We want it to be green and we'll just select that and click OK. And you can see it at the conditional formatting uh, gets applied. And let's just go and select matrix. And the, the formatting is still applied and it's not changed. It's just added a total tab at the bottom. And we can similarly go here and uh, conditional formatting and uh, change font color if you wanted to. Uh, we could do the same thing that we did for um, Tablix, which is just make this on and then go to advanced controls. Check this and then we can set it up again. So in this video, we learned how to set up conditional formatting, uh, both for the background and for the font in Power BI desktop. You can explore with data bars uh, and uh, I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please uh, do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you.